graag. On these two, I really like to have that photo frame thing, collage. So I'm just going to see what fits on here. I already have figured out one that I like to do together with you. So I'm going to start nicely at the bottom because we do have that beautiful decorative edge. Oh, I thought I had all smudged. I think I forgot these small ones. Check out. Yep. Well, I could put this a little down. I still can. No, it can't. That's okay. Check, check. Alright, so I'm just going to place this the same. And then this one, <coughs> I'm going to place on the left corner. So that is equal. So I always, if needed, I can place just a small piece of design paper in between. If I want, but yeah, we do have plenty of those <coughs> little strips, as you can see right here. We have plenty to, to use. Alright, so and then on the left side, I think I'm going to use these. See, and then I only have to, if needed, if wanted, I only can then place some design paper in between, just two straight pieces, if needed. You also can. You also can plant this in the middle, but then it's a little bit harder to dec dec decorate. So I'm just going to place this so I have a little brown edge. Um, it's also not necessary that you use a certain cardstock underneath because, yep, it is give you a little bit more bulk, but. <coughs> I just like it and that's why I already have that 1 8 extra to give that space because I'm not going to make this page not any bulkier than this. Alright, so now I can, if I have leftovers but I don't have right now, then I can place a few pieces in between. So yeah. Cool. So I'm going to do the same thing with uh, with the up the upper one. And I did everything already cut out. So that's, that's easy. So I'm just going to can choose if I want something with, with a line or without. See, like this is also very nice. And if you want to leave it like this, I think that's already so cool. But you also can add more. Just have fun. But I really like this. So, yep, that's what I'm going to use on this one. Easy. If you already have everything cut out. Alright, so yep, that's what I'm going to glue down and afterwards I'm going to replace some extra designs in between from my leftovers, if I have leftovers. Alright, easy peasy. And this way you really can stretch out your papers. And that's for me the goal. See how far I can go. 
go with just three paper packs. Well, three is still plenty and enough. Yeah, and so I continuing and then we're gonna see what what I want to do in the middle. I don't want to make this page too bulky because it's already pretty bulky if you add these in. But we want something in, of course. I don't think that we can do a pocket. Can we do a pocket? Mm. I think then we have more bulk. But let me see. If I put these inside, even without <clears throat> even without the extra designs, I'm not gonna glue it down just yet, but just to see how it is. Alright, so let's Pretend I'm gluing this in here. Let's pretend. Oh, 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 my gosh. <laughs> and then I'm just going to see. Okay, so yeah, that's pretty. Yep, it's not that bulky, but if you're gonna add pictures in, so I think we can manage a small pocket for small, a few small tags. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. <coughs> inside here so this i can remove till i am having some designs all right put this right here all right let's see simple pocket easy peasy i'm going to use this page for that first i am going to cut down till under here i'm going to cut that down ah Yes, I am. So this I did cut out. Then you need to cut this down also a little from here. There you have already a nice strip. And then, stay away from the fold lines, and then <coughs> let's cut this one, so it's the full size. Just an extra check. Extra check, check, check. Yep, I oh, definitely need some glasses. <laughs> yeah, oh wow, there's a world going open. Alright, so here we have another leftover piece, and now I'm just gonna cut right here. That gives us a little tuck spot, but just for small, small little tags to put in, little notes or something. 
it fits with the photos. So I'm just going to add on three sides some glue. That's my little tuck spot. Be careful with that fold line. It's just a little tuck spot. Okay, um, let's smooch this. <coughs> Can't get rid of my cough. Well, it's almost gone, so. But, anyways, then we can place this on top. And yep, it is a background, but it's already also a nice decorative page. Here we go. I do I don't like um, I don't mind that there is a little black edge that's okay that's actually better so the person who gets this see that there is a little opening but we are also going to attach some small tags or a small note in there soon Here we go. Okay. Yep. So yeah, you can also put something like this in, in here. Whatever you want, of course. But I'm going to do that later. Alright, so we have a nice little tuck spot right here. And those two photo mats are going to be in here. Um, so this is almost done, of course. The booklets I still need to uh, decorate. These are five and a half by seven and a half. Um, but we're going to do that later. Um, so yeah, um, my little round ones with the shimmering for the glossy accents are nicely dry. So I put that on the end of the string. It's nice finishing touch. And then I think this page is completely done. Oh yeah, this one I did yesterday. And for here, I don't know exactly what I want. Right here. And you also can use such as this. Also nice. Or on the side with a little note on the side. But I don't know just yet. So I'm just going to keep it like this for a moment. And inside here, there is a 5.5 by 7.5 inch booklet and a 5 by 7 booklet but still need to decorate all right so far so cool what do you think we like to continue and here we have that insert that's also ready the rest i keep it plain for now Yep, and then we have these two big pockets, which we still can decorate. Then we have this one. Yeah, 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 so far so cool. Oh, and of course, oh, I totally forgot that in here, there is of, of course also 
um, for a big. Totally forgot that we can put something inside there too, but here we have a notch, and I do not have on this side. Okay, but I can still do that on here. Ah ha 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 ha! Alright, I totally forgot. Yes, I totally forgot. I forgot. But I still can do that. Is this in the middle? I don't know. Oh my gosh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's see, let's see. Don't worry, don't worry. Don't panic. Don't panic. Alright, so this is the 8. This is the... Oh. It's actually almost so I can make it right here a little higher or I'm just gonna let this flow in the pocket a bit what do you like what do you think but if I'm gonna make this higher see that just a small one it does not need to be big one each time. I also can make a small one. But I think it's not that big deal if I just cut this above. Alright, but I do think it will be nice if I do that. Alright, so See if I can do that without. Oh. Without ruining the page. Just take my time. I think I need to do this off camera, but. You know me, I show you all. Here we go. Haha, <laughs> problem solved. Problem solved. check if this paper is attached because I know myself that I do not yeah I do I did all right see problem solved and now I can add another um, tag or booklet whatever I want to add in there size did I have on here that was a seven seven eight so I think it will be a good idea to do that same thing so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna make another booklet same thing oh shall I make a tag I don't know seven seven eight gonna put something inside till it's stopping and then I'm just gonna make a mark half inch smaller and then I, I also can fold this let's see how that looks how does that look
see you also can make a smaller booklet it's also very nice or the pockets oh that's also nice to do well anyways problem is solved you can add another round one on it when you are ready maybe a nicer one instead of that i look at the butt of an elephant and just a simple one like this would do nice all right something like that okay you want to see me doing this i don't think so so i will do those little things and I'm gonna glue this on black cut it out and then yeah do we need already decorated actually we do <laughs> actually we do want to do that first we do all right, so I'm going to do that. See you. <laughs> All right, guys. <clears throat> so this is how I end up with this one. I, yeah, I left the flap. I did not make a pocket. I added uh, that leftover strip right here. Then I added the ribbon. <clears throat> Those four photo frames, but you also can write something nice uh, on it. This strip is from the cutouts from the animals that's on the bottom. Then this, it was still a leftover, that giraffe. And then I still had also a little strip of this, uh, the same one, but that's smaller. So I put that in between. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like a puzzle. <laughs> I love it. <clears throat> And then on this side I started with these two photo frames. I had a small um, design strip left <coughs> that I used. Then I added some brown cardstock to fill up this one. I still have <coughs> that zebra strip left. So I cut out a zebra strip that will match with the ribbon. <coughs> and then I have this square piece left. That's the back of this one. So I cut out um, a piece. I just fold it double, cut it in two. So I have a top and bottom square one. <clears throat> I added a round one to have a pull out. And I added a quote. Life is an echo. And then it looks like this. All right. Cool. See what you can do with leftovers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Use it. And then this fits nicely inside. Oh, yes. Super cool. All right. Now, this page is done. It's pretty thick. Well, not that thick. But, yeah, it's, it's yeah, cool. And we did not even put anything on the booklets. But, yeah. Cool. I love it. All right. Finally. Well, not completely. But, finally, our first page is done pages and this is what i have left two full sheets and a few cut out now i know it is difficult to cut exactly the same pieces that that i did but no worries you as, as you can just see use your leftovers it's it's just always use it and if you cut something wrong that's no no issue at all. You just can use another piece. Then, and if you have another one, you can use it there. So it's no, but no stress. That's the main thing. And yeah, I'm, I am going to decorate this later. Um, perhaps, like I just cut out just one. Perhaps something like this in, in, in the top. I don't know just yet what I want with this. But I am going to do that later. Oh, yes. So let's go to our next base page. Okay. Till next time. Bye-bye. All right.
guys hello 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 welcome back okay we are going to make another just the basic all right so first of all i am gonna cut the end of the envelope and just exactly the same thing as we did earlier cutting envelope open just a little need to cut off just a tiny little strip so this is open then I like to glue this down these little pieces just in case I don't want anything to be loose on each one of them of course here we go yep okay cool now I'm gonna cut this strip off because I don't need it. It's gonna be way too long. So yeah, I still have the other one. I don't think that I'm gonna use it, but you never know with me. <laughs> All right, so that we did cut off. So here is our little thing going on. Now let's see how did I did it. This just goes in here, same as the other one. So what we need is put some glue in I'm just gonna do one side alright now close it down and make sure that it's nice and straight Burnish it down. Open it up, and now we're just going to close this down with a little glue. Same on the other side. Yeah, I just want these to be flat. Sometimes you can do other things with it, but this time I just want to keep this flat and only make some nice activity on the outside on this side this flat and on this side so we have plenty to do ah right, so yep that's the base the base page ready to get started <laughs> I'm crazy Okay guys, now since we do have some leftovers from the first pack, but it's, I am gonna grab the next one to see what else that I can use because I have an idea to do at this front page, but then I need, and I did use one already, this one, but I think I want to use this page again see what I can do with that all right let's start with cutting this out um, and I don't know exactly how big so I first go start with the black so don't cut it out just yet because maybe maybe you need the wet one maybe or not but just in case don't just cut it out just yet okay so put this away i need it in just a sec let's get started let's make some square ones yay 
Okay, guys. It's been a long time that I did this page, but let's see. Let's see if I can still, if I still have it. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to grab a new page. And we are going to make this exactly the same or one millimeter smaller than our base. Cut it. And we're going to make a flippity flop. Let's make a flippity flop. Burn it down. We are going to make a little mark what the middle is of our envelope. And since it's eight. I think it's really an 8 by 8 envelope. So we're gonna make a mark. So it's 4. Yeah, I definitely think it's an 8 by 8 envelope. So for those who do not have the kit, it's an 8 by 8 square envelope. Alright, so we are going to have the hinge on the left side. And we're gonna have a look at that mark. We're gonna make the same mark. Alright. Then we're going to make a fold line on that mark. Don't cut it, only make a fold line. Here we go. There we go. Fold line. Then, but yeah, maybe it's even handier to put it this way. Now I like to have a mark right here and now what we're going to do we're going to score on the left side of that mark so this piece is going to be needs to be a little bit smaller than this side okay so let's say one eight is that enough let's let's give it a go i'm going to score a one eight on the left oh Wait just a sec. Yeah, I can score easier than the one than the cutting piece. All right, so I'm gonna score a one eight on the left side of my mark. All right, and now I can. I could cut it. Ta -da 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 -da. You can cut. <laughs> you can cut a one eight shorter than the mark I just gave you. Oh my goodness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Strange me. That means, do you see that? If you fold it double, I have a 1-8 bin away. Okay. That's cool. Now we're going to make exactly the same one. Alright, so exactly the same. So we're going to cut our next page. Cut. <coughs> yeah, black on black is so difficult to see. All right, make a mark, cut it down. Make a flippity flop. Lippity flop. I'm just going to use exactly the same. So I'm just going to put this on top. And I'm going to make a mark. And on that mark, I'm going to score. And then the same thing on this side. You can make a mark and then cut one eight on the left side. So it's one eight smaller. All right. Always checking. Check, check, check it out. If you are straight. So 
now I am not completely straight. Try to solve that. Yep, and then I need to cut down this just a tiny little bit. Otherwise, I don't have that one eight smaller. Yep. All right. Let's get back. Now we have two pieces. Yeah, I told you we're gonna be do square ones, but we are, but not first. So what we have here is, if you fold this under, under your hinge, then you can put it down easily in the middle. In the middle? Are we going to do this in the middle? I don't know. Or on the outside. So we have a gatefold. Let me first see if it fits all. Oh, it fits perfect. Perfect. Alright, what do we want? So this folds open twice. I think that's a good idea. I think that's a good idea. So we do that. That it opens twice. Yep, I think we're going to do that. If we're going to put this this way, then it reveals this this way. Also not bad, but then you totally missed the inside. So, yeah, let's 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 do that. <laughs> okay, guys. I'm going to use some tape. You can use liquid glue if you like. Sometimes I just switch between two methods. Why? Just because it can't. <laughs> this is also a thing I not always do. Why? Just because. <laughs> Alright, so peel it off. You also can do first the corner. See where your way is. Now I'm going to start with my left. So I'm going to start with the one where still is the tape on. And maybe I like to start on this side. Let's start on this side so I know exactly how much I have left because this I can put all the way at the edge. Peel this off and put it down. So now I am completely on the edge of my envelope opening. Now let's grab the next one. And with this one, because I want a little bit away from, from this edge, because this edge is going to be in the album. So if I get too close to this edge, it will bump in the way. So I'm going to try to be as far as I can get from the edge. So I'm just going to put this on here. But I also don't want to interfere this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this against the other one. And then I'm just going to be away one millimeter away. Then I still am two millimeters away from this edge. Yeah, cool. Very nice. So we have a nice 
unfolds. Yeah, cool. Next. Okay, we are going to make another mark so we know what the middle is. Again at four, of course. Yeah, I don't think it's necessary that you do one on this side too, but just in case. All right. Now we are going to make the square ones. All right, so let's see. This is the middle. So actually we're gonna do exactly the same as with the bigger ones. So first I like to make my size. And with this one also, you can make it exact or you can make a one millimeter smaller. So that's what I like. So again, I'm gonna place this right here. And then I'm gonna make a mark, but I am gonna make a mark that's one millimeter off. See that? I'm gonna stay on my left side. So I have the place for it. All right, so. Let's cut this off, and that we need to make a few, of course. Um, but let me first make one ready. Let's make a full lippity flop. Okay. So now we have this size exactly okay and now we want this but again I make a mark but I'm gonna make that tiny little millimeter off so if I want to make a mark see not completely so I'm gonna stay inside okay this this I can cut off now I need to make four of these exactly the same. So I did not make any measurements. You can measure on your surface. All right, I always check if there is anything that fits the same. And if it's not, then I just need to cut my papers, of course. Look, it's not fitting. This is, okay. I'm gonna use it. Use what you have. thought I had another pile of leftovers, but the, I think I already used it. All right, so, yep, same thing. I can measure, but why if this is so much easier? down and yes you can do any method you also can do one and then measure and then cut all the exactly same ones because this is a 3 15 16 oh yeah okay and then this one is yeah a 4 3 8 but it's still not precise, so I'm just gonna use my method. I'm just gonna use my method. Here we go. And then I'm just gonna put this same thing on the other one, or just this way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Make a mark and cut it down. Yep. All right, so now I have two exactly the same ones. Check it out if it is. One, two, and I still have a little bit space. So that's cool. That's nice. Let's do the same thing on this side. 
I also can do it with a full sheet if you want to have a little bit easy easy going just use a full sheet cut yarn down same also stay on that side cut this down and then just use one here stay on the left side and with this one stay on that side so yep i have two marks cut it down easy peasy see no measurements needed nope 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 yeah okay cool Ta -da 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 -da. all right cool easy peasy okay i was thinking <clears throat> Why I made a single one? Why? If we can do another one. So, okay. Why did I do that? So, I'm gonna give you a choice. Do you wanna make just one single fold out? Or do you wanna make the same as this one? It can take more pictures, so. It can be. So let's say, this is a leftover piece, so let's say I'm just going to use, I'm going to give you an option. <laughs> let's say I'm going to do this one more time, okay, cutting this down, see how that looks. See how that goes. And I do have another method to do a nice but then they need to be exactly the same sizes and that's, uh, you need a lot of magnets and you know what I mean? So that this folds to here and then this one to here and this here and this here it is a nice method but and I was trying mm -hmm. that but mm, it's not completely a square one at the end so see this is smaller than an 8 and this is an 8 so oh, it's not completely working for me so I'm gonna do something else. All right, so I made that fold line. I'm just gonna keep it like here. Again, stay one millimeter away. Let's make another fold line. Here we go. Actually, we can do exactly the same as we did with the other one. So now we have two pages. And you even can, but I think that's way too bulky. So I'm not. I'm just going to cut this also. That 1 8 shorter. Alright, so now what we have. <coughs> It's the same on here, but of course we're going to split that in two. And again, I'm just going to stay on my left side. And on this side. So I do cut a one millimeter in between. So they are not interfering. In each other all right and now what we have is if I glue this down see you have a nice fold out too that's cool I really like that so yep that's what I'm gonna do 
for this one. I think it's it's nice, nice and bulky and so many spots for photos. So yeah, I think I like that. Yeah, it means that I'm not need to decorate this, especially for those who are going to be using photos. Then it would be nice if you are not add too much paper on it. Maybe a thin one, but don't add too much paper. Otherwise you don't have any place for pictures. Alright, let's put this in. Alright, starting completely at the bottom. There we go. And then the other one. I start at the top. There we go. So I do have plenty of space in between. See that? Okay. Yeah, cool. Alright, so I'm going to do the other one. Now I don't know why I already cut it. Because you don't need to. So if I'm just going to make a fold line for the hinge. Excuse me for the flippity flop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The flippity flop. Put it on the left side. Stay on the left side. Make a mark. Make another fold line. Don't cut it. Just make a fold line. mark and then cut this a little shorter yeah and now we can do the same thing oh we have the mark here is the mark make a mark on the left side and one on the right side. Cut it. Here we go. Ready to put it in. Yes. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, start at the corner. Start in the corner. Here we go. So this is going to be a nice, fat page with loads of possibilities, loads of possibilities, yeah, cool. Now we are going to close this down. I think we are just going to make a magnet closure. Something. So, are these still fitting? Yes, they do. Fit marvelous. All right, let's check it out. Where are? Oh, here is the other one. 
and there's the other one. So let's say I put these on here. And of course another one. What kind of closure do you like? Animal or this? I think I like this better. Mm -hmm. Oh, here we have a nice one. Yeah, that's a good one. Without an animal. These are animal, animal, animal. Oh, yeah, I have another toy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what do you think? What do you think? Is that nice? Or do you think? Oh my gosh, this is so boring. Well, at least we do have plenty of photo spots. What do you think? I think that's cool. But the back is also nice to use. Totally up to you. Alright, so that is a little bit the goal. Yeah, I think I like it. <laughs> but I always can change my mind. But so far, so good. I'm going to cut out this one and I do think that I just can cut all just with a tiny tiny little piece of wet but not that much so okay that's what I'm gonna do let's cut this one oh by the way you also can use this one if you prefer all right stay tuned okay guys Let's see what we can do. Alright, now first, I already smooched these so I can glue down the left side. Let's just add the left side. There we go. Zebra. Then <clears throat> I like to use this one, but then in the middle. So what I'm gonna do is <clears throat> I'm not gonna place this down just yet, but uh, as I do it right and so, then I see better. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place this black right here in the middle. That means that I Maybe the best way to do it is put glue on. There we go. Here we go. Alright, so let's just put this nicely in the middle. Do my best to put this nicely in the middle. Here we go. Alright, now 
I'm gonna remove this. I think this one I can add on it. Well, just to be sure, I'm gonna wait. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna grab a magnet <clears throat> and I am gonna place that on the white spot. the other one place it on here we go okay close it down okay now I have this on the back. Mm, okay. <laughs> That's the best way. Well, I can put it on top here, but then I don't know. Well, wait, 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 wait just a second. I think that's even better. Wait just a second. Wait just a minute, because otherwise I do need to cover that up with something. So why <clears throat> not put this on top? You should say. And then this on top. And then this all stays pretty close. Yep, and when you open this up, this is the closure. Yeah, I think I like that. <clears throat> Alright, so just peel this off. And then I am just gonna glue this down. Pretty easy closure. I hope it will stay because now I need to add a piece of paper on it. So I hope it still will hold. And as you are. where the magnet is all right and I also need to erase my pencil mark so what I did was I just grabbed that circle and draw the line on some black and then I just cut it out with a little bit extra all right, I think we managed. I choose this one because I really like the mint in it. Also, well, you can you can put this on some chipboard if you want, but I don't want that. More chipboard the more thicker your album is going to get. Here 
we go. All right, so what do you think about the top look of this page? What do you say? Easy peasy? Yeah, and you just start with this one. You just start with this one and you still can fold everything out. See, you can fold everything out. Super cool. Yep, yep, yes. Yep, okay, cool. Now let's go inside and see what decoration that we can put it on, at least at the last page. And the other pages, I don't know just yet because I want to have the place for photos. But yeah, plain is actually not my middle name. So um, maybe I have an idea. So I still can use. Um, something to put on. 